Good afternoon. If you're in the US, good evening. If you're in Liberia, uh, this is a video I promised uh, I promised you earlier. And um, just to talk about a number of things, uh, very, very disturbing developments um, happening in Liberia, you know, um, with this whole coronavirus fight. And I am very, very disturbed by what I just gathered about an hour and a half ago. And uh, this thing is, 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 is very, very serious. And um, what's happening is very disturbing. Yeah. And the handling of it is what the real issue is, yeah. The way it has been handled, um, that is a that is an issue. Um, uh, so, um, uh, wash your hands um, as as often. As you can wash your hands it says it's very very important it will help save your life and uh, it will help um, and then of course if you are safe chances are the people closest to you the people with whom you interact would also be safe so that is also very very important um, I'll be talking to you about a very disturbing development that I just gathered from the very institution that should be that that is supposedly leading this fight against the coronavirus. What's happening there is not encouraging at all. This is a, na a National Public Health Institute headed by Dr. Mosoka Fala. And you see, I'm very disappointed in what I just learned about Dr. Fala. And I just want to say this to him. You know, Dr. Fala, for most of you who do not know him, I don't know him personally, but Dr. Fala is a scientist. Uh, he had a, a stint at MIT, I believe, or Harvard, one of those prestigious Ivy League uh, schools. And uh, he was a research fellow there. And so you've got to respect the guy. And so, but apparently the problem is, from what I have discovered, what I've learned, is that Dr. Fala is a scientist, but that doesn't make him an effective administrator. He doesn't know administration. You see, that is the problem. All of us are not good in every area. No. Take me for example. I know my strengths and I know my weaknesses. I know that I am not good at presiding over long, boring meetings. I don't know how to do that. I like to cut it short. I know that I'm not very good at uh, immersing myself in painstaking efforts. I like to push people around, get people to do stuff, and then they report back to me, and then, uh, and then I'm able to uh, better lead or manage in that way. That is how I oper oper operate. But the thing with Dr. Musaka Fala is that he is not a manager. He is not an administrator. He is a bright mind, scientific mind. He was a Harvard. Thank you, Stephen Johnson. He was a Harvard. I respect the man. But what I just gathered from people close, uh, well-placed people and, 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 and lowly-placed people at the National Public... Uh, people at various levels at the National Public Health Institute, they're complaining about him. His management skills are very, very bad. And this is a guy who is leading the effort against the coronavirus. And he is not up to the task in terms of administrative skills. The first thing he's doing is that he's witch hunting people. And, and this is not what I want to do the video about. I've got something very, very serious to, the, to, the, to share with, with, with you. But this is part of what's happening with the institution whose job it is to lead the fight against the coronavirus. The head of that institution is a brilliant scientific mind, but he's a terrible ad administrator. One of the things he's doing, he's witch hunting people. Oh my God, I can't stand witch hunt. I hate it. I hate it more than any, anything else. He is witch hunting people on 
account of the fact that they were supposedly loyal or they were supposedly cool or to the previous uh, uh, head, Toba Yinswa. Come on, da. Come on, da. You work at Harvard, for Christ's sake. You work in a structured environment where people have to work together. Regardless of the fact that they were there or they were not there before, it doesn't matter. You have to work with people. And he's doing that. One of the things he's doing, now let me tell you something. And this is something you don't know. And it's going to tell you how bad of an, an administrator Dr. Fala is. Over the weekend, on Friday, on Friday, folks, on Friday, one of the staffers, one of the staff, of the National Public Health Institute, a male was tested positive for the coronavirus. Now, I'm breaking this news when the people at NF, the, 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 the National Public Health Institute do not even know this. I know this because very top level people have told me, listen to this, listen to this. This is news to the people at the National Public Health Institute. Are you mad? Can you imagine that you work in an institution? You do not even know what I'm about to tell you, and I do not work there. One of the male staffers of the National Public Health Institute started showing symptoms of the coronavirus last week. He took it upon himself to proceed to the self-testing facility at the ministry uh, at the SKD. He tested himself. And his test showed that he is positive with the coronavirus or for the coronavirus. He has the coronavirus. Dr. Masoka Fala, the head of the institution, whose job it is to steer us away from this thing, to beat this thing, he hasn't told his people. He's hiding it. One of his own staff, this gentleman was assigned at the airport in the beginning. They were the ones who were receiving people uh, people coming from abroad, apparently that is how he might have con contracted the virus. Now, Dr. Fala knows this and is sitting on top of this. And this guy was going to work up until Friday when he finally got tested. He was going to work. He was attending these meetings. He was co commingling with his colleagues at the National Public Health Institute, possibly infecting them. Now, what should Dr. Fala do when this guy came forward on Thursday? I mean, on Friday and test the pos 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 positive. Dr. Fala should have immediately started doing con contact tracing of all of the colleagues, his colleagues within the National Public Health Institute. Start doing contact tracing right away. They work in a small, close-knit environment. Chances are he might have come in contact with a lot of people. During the period he was symptomatic, and during the period he was asymptomatic. Asympto Imagine that. And they're attending these little meetings in these clustered rooms where tons of people are cramped up in these little rooms and they're having briefings and stuff like that. And this guy has had coronavirus. And up as I speak to you, folks, Dr. Mosaka Fala, the Director General of the National Public Health Institute, has not as yet informed staff at the National Public Health Institute that one of their colleagues has tested positive. Hello, folks. Did you just hear, 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 hear me? Dr. Masaka Fala is yet to inform the staff at the National Public Health Institute that one of them has tested positive for the coronavirus. Are you kidding me? You know what he's telling the people? He wants to do an investigation. He wants to investigate. Oh, y'all give me a chance. Let me investigate. I'm going to investigate. Investigate what? The first thing you need to do is ask the gentleman, who are the people you keep in physical contact with? Almost everybody. It's possible that a good number of the staffers at the National Public Health Institute that work within the same premises are potential um, uh, pot are potentially infected. Especially people who he worked with. This guy who has tested past positive worked with people at the National Public Health Institute. He was there for weeks and weeks and weeks. And he tested positive on Friday. Dr. Mosaka Fala has not begun any contact tracing within his own, his own institution. This is the man we are supposed to go to bed relaxed and assured that he will do what needs to be done to protect us. This man, Dr. Mosaka Fala, this is no attack on his, on his capability as a scientist, no, but this this situation at his institution calls into question 
His administrative skills or lack thereof. In fact, he doesn't have administrative skills. You have a situation where one of your own employees has come down positive with the virus. Tested positive on Friday. And guess what? Dr. Fala is still sitting on there and he's telling the rest of the staff, you know what? Let's 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 not blow, let's not like expose this thing. Eh? Let's not ex expose this thing. We gotta be careful, you know, because we don't want to cost care. So let's investigate. Investigate? What should he immediately begin to do? Isolate people, trace the contacts, trace the contacts of this guy, work colleagues of this guy who's now come. Uh, who's not tested positive for the coronavirus. Trace them. Once you trace them, you isolate them. You, you, you trace them, you test them. If they don't have it now, after a while, you test them again. You are running the show. And you have a situation where one of your own mm, is positive. And you're hiding it. And you're preaching to us, the rest of the country, that we must cooperate. We must come forward. And you are not doing the same thing. Dr. Fala is a hypocrite. He's not practicing what he is preaching. So folks, the word here is one of the staffers at the National Public Health Institute, the agency established to fight infectious diseases, to, to, to combat all public health crises. One of the staffers has tested positive for the coronavirus. And this is news to most of the staffers. You don't know, I'm telling you. This is news to you. To most of the staffers, they don't know this. I know this because well-placed people have told me. Because they don't like the way Dr. Mosaka Fala is handling this, 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 this situation. Imagine the people who are supposed to be protecting us. The people who are supposed to be leading this effort for us to beat this coronavirus. One of their own has coronavirus. And it is not that they should be immune from the coronavirus. But the way Dr. Mosaka Fala is handling it by hiding it. He is hiding it. And he claims he is investigating. Dr. Mosakavala, it cannot be your fault that the gentleman has coronavirus even though he works for you. It's not your fault. But the point is, he has it and there are other people with whom he's been interacting physically within the same workspace. Chances are, many of them might have it. Folks, are you not scared? That's why the caption of this live video is, I am very scared. The people who should be protecting us? One of them has it. And the head of the institution leading the effort against this thing, he's hiding it. He's hiding it. Folks, he's hiding it. Now, let's leave National Public Health Institute of Big Catholic Hospital. For weeks now, I have been saying this. I am no expert and I do not profess to be a public health or infectious diseases expert. I have not professed to be. But common sense tells me, listen to this, that the people who are on the front lines, the healthcare workers, the doctors, the nurses, the, physici the, the physician assistants, those people are the people who have a higher chance of getting the virus than say the average person out there. Because these people work in health facilities across the country who receive and treat patients every day Chances are they might be treating patients who have the virus and they might get infected by those patients. So we must ensure that we protect those people first and foremost because we need them healthy and we need them motivated and we need them, uh, 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 we, 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 we need them not afraid to do their job. Guess what, folks? Catholic Hospital, one of the medical doctors has come down positive with the coronavirus. The HR manager of Catholic Hospital has also tested positive for the coronavirus. Hello, folks. I'm not giving you second. I'm not giving you uh, ifs. I'm giving you definitive factual information. What the HR, the human resource manager at Catholic Hus Hospital, has tested positive for the coronavirus. One of the doctors has has also tested positive for the coronavirus. Now these ones are confirmed. It is expected. That when further testing is done, when they test more people at Catholic Hospital, it is expected, unfortunately, that more people might come down positive with the coronavirus at Catholic Hospital. Also, several nurses at Redemption Hospital have come down positive with the coronavirus. Hello? 
nurses at Redemption Hospital have come down positive with the coronavirus. Death, if you think that's, that's, that's all, that's not all. 25%, what did I say? 25% of the total staff of Jamali Diagnostic Medical Facility. Jamali Diagnostic Medical Facility is a state-of-the-art, the country's only state-of-the-art medical diagnostic center located at EAWA Junction. 25% of their staff have tested positive for the coronavirus. Hello, folks. 25%. I don't know the total number of their staff, but this is what I got from within the National Public Health Institute. They informed me that 25% of the staff of the Jamali Diagnostic Medical Facility located at EAWA Junction have come down positive. They've shut down the whole facility. Hello, Jamali has been shut down. Jamali has been shut down. 25% of their staff. And guess what? Here is what you do not know. The end fail is under-reporting. They are under-reporting the numbers. Now, as of 1 p.m. today, Liberian time, they reported that Liberia has a total of what? Hold on, folks. I'm going to provide this. I'm, I'm going to provide this. I'm going to, in, 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 in fact, look, look, look. This thing is scary. This thing is freaking scary. If you're not scared, something has got to be wrong with you. This thing is extremely scary. Listen to this. As of 1 p.m. today, as of 1 p.m. today, Liberian time, the National Public Health Institute reported that Liberia had 59 cases, 59 confirmed cases, uh, 49 active cases, Four persons have recovered and six deaths. First of all, there's something off here. What is off? Listen to this. 25% of Jamali staff, 25% of the total staff of Jamali Diagnostic Medical Facility located at EADB Junction have come down positive and they shut down the entire facility. 25%. That's quite a number of people. Guess what? Here is what you need, need to know. There's those 25, that 25% of the total staff of Jamali they have not been included. They have not been included. Jamali, they have not been included. No, they haven't. So the National Public Health Institute is reporting that we've got, as of 1 p.m. today, 59 confirmed cases, 49 active, and six deaths. Now, what does that tell you? If you have uh, 59 confirmed cases, which is under-reporting, this number is way below, way, way below. If you have 59 uh, confirmed case, cases and six deaths, what does that tell you? Those of you who, who know math, it means the number of people dying in Liberia from the coronavirus is much, much higher. It's completely out of sync with the global fatality rate. The global fatality rate of the coronavirus is 2%. That means 2% of the people who contract the coronavirus die of the coronavirus. 2%. 2%. But in Liberia, it's way more than 2%. It's extremely higher than 2% because you've got a case, a total number of what, 59 cases and 6 deaths? What does that tell you? It tells you that Corona will kill way more people in Liberia than it will kill in any other country if we don't put our house in order. The first and foremost thing we need to do, we need to protect the medical, work, the medical workers, the staffers, the people in the hospitals and the clinics across the country. How do we do that? We need to provide them PPEs personal protective equipment. We need to do that ASAP. We're not, we're not doing that. I've been talking about this for weeks and weeks and weeks. We are not doing that. Why does Liberia have a greater death rate or fatality rate of Corona than other countries? The global trend is 2%. Only 2% of those who contract Corona die of Corona. But in Liberia, of 59 confirmed cases, six have already died. Redemption Hospital has several people who already have the Corona coronavirus. A medical doctor at Cali has the coronavirus. The HR uh, uh, boss at Cali House, House Hospital has the coronavirus. What does that tell you, folks? What does that tell you? It tells you Liberia is in a very, very serious situation. It tells you that we need to be scared and we need to be worried and we need to even take personal protective measures to protect ourselves. If you are taking this thing for joke, you need to stop right now. Begin to take it seriously. Protect yourselves because don't depend on the government. You have a situation where the head of the National Public Health Institute, Director General Dr. Mosaka Fala, who is a scientist from a reputed institution, is hiding it. He has one of his staff who has corona. He's hiding it. The staff tested positive on Friday. By now, Dr. Fala should have brought all his people in 
and he should start testing all staffers of the, of the facility, of the National Public Health Institute. He has to do it. He hasn't. He's not doing it. He says he's investigating. 25% of Jamali tests a positive. Are you wondering how? How that could have happened? Every single healthcare facility, every clinic, every hospital in Liberia, all the people who work there, they are on the front lines. They stand a greater risk of contracting the virus than you and myself, who are not nurses and, and are not doctors. Because when people walk into those facilities, the healthcare workers ought, who are seeing them ought to be protected. They ought to be wearing um, protective gear before they see those people. They're not doing that. And that is the reason why we have the situation, because the government needs to provide them PPEs. We don't hear that. All we hear them saying, how many people have the virus? How many people have, have died? How many people have recovered? But they are not protecting those people who are working in the hospitals and the clinics across the country. One of the first things you're going to have, fear, fear will grip those people, the healthcare workers across the hospitals and the clinics in the country. When fear grips them, many of them will decide not to go to work. And if they don't go to work, the hospitals and the nurses and, 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 and the hospitals and the clinics would, 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 would not be able to operate fully because they would be on the staff. And then who treats the people? Who treats the people? So the first thing you do, you arm and you protect those on the front line. Give them protective gear so that they may be confident so that when they go to work each day, they know they're not going to expose themselves to a deadly disease that could very well kill them or that could make their family members sick as well when they contract it. This is the, this is the problem, folks. So I just want to say this to you in this video. This thing is very scary. That the Mossad Fala is not up to the task. He needs to manage the technical side of things and, and we need somebody else who is a good administrator to run the, the administrative arm of the National Public Health Institute. We need that. First, first of all, how is it that they say 59 cases? How can you say 59 cases when 25% of the entire staff, the entire workforce of the Jamali Diagnostic Medical Facility, 25% of them have corona? Because people go to Jamali to do medical diagnostics. They have uh, CT scan machines, CAT scan machines. They have... MRIs, they've got all of the sophisticated medical equipment. People go there to, to do diagnostic. They, they go there to do medical, to do their diagnostic uh, medical stuff. That's why they go there. And they go there and they meet these doctors and these nurses and these uh, people who know how to operate these different machines and they don't have any gear to protect themselves. So are you surprised that 25% of them have it? No, you shouldn't be. But George Weah is looking for a way to steal the coronavirus money that the international community has given us. That is why they say they have 6,000, are gonna hire 6,000 uh, contact tracers. We don't need 6,000 contact tracers. What we need, PPEs for healthcare workers across the country, in hospitals and clinics. What we need, robust testing, isolation, removal and isolation of people who might have the virus, who might have come in contact with people, all of the contacts, once you are, once they are traced and identified, they need to be removed from general population, placed in the facility where they are monitored, tested twice, and then released later, after they have shown that they don't have it. That is what we ought to be doing. We're not doing that. George Weah and his people are sitting there thinking they're witching this virus away in their stupid heads. All they are trying to do is to steal Instead of protecting the healthcare workers, they're sitting there and they have the police people beating people up and they're thinking, this is how we're going to be able to curtail the virus. Let's announce something so it will look like we're, we're working. It is not working. A curfew from 6 a.m., I mean from, from, from 3 p.m. to 6 a.m. is not going to help. It will not help with the situation. It's a waste of time. What you need to do is protect the people who are on the front lines. It's what you need to do. Test people, quarantine people who are contacts of people who have tested positive. That's what you need to do. And they're not doing that. And I can tell you, coronavirus will proportionally kill more people in Liberia percentage-wise than any other country. I said proportionally. In terms of the number of people who contracted versus the number and, and, and the number of people who died of it. The percentage is off. It's not in sync with what's happening in China. 
what's happening in Russia, what's happening all over the world. Liberia has a worse situation. 59 cases, which is way unreported, and six deaths. That's crazy. Somebody do the math and tell me. They say six people have died. 59 confirmed cases. What is the death rate? What is the, 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 the fatality rate? What is it? What is the fatality rate? Six people have died. 59. To, is that about 10%? Okay, it's about 10%. It's, it's about 10%. The fatality rate. What does that tell you? It is scary. It is freaking scary. That means way more people will die. And why? You have no ventilators. You have no protective gear for the healthcare workers. You're not doing enough testing. You're not isolating, removing and isolating the uh, contacts. You're not doing those things. So way more people will die. You're not even telling us what the treatment protocol is. How are you treating these people? Thank you. So the current fatality rate in Liberia is 10%. 10%? The global fatality rate of the coronavirus is what? 2%. It's 2%. And Liberia is 10%. What does that tell you? It tells you that we need to be scared. How is it that in China, Wuhan, where it started, it was 2%. In America, the, the fatality rate is 2%. All over the world, it's 2%. But Liberia is 10%. The death rate is 10% in Liberia. So that means if 1,000 people are infected with the coronavirus, imagine how many people are going to die of it. It is very, very scary. So I start by to tell you, Dr. Mosaka Fala, all, with all due respect to him, he's not up to the task. The fact that one of his own staff would test positive for the coronavirus since Friday and up to now he has not even informed his own staffers. They have to learn from me because now they're learning from you. This is where they're learning of the terrible news that one of their colleagues who works with them in the same tight workspace has tested positive for the coronavirus. It is very sad. It is extremely sad. How can we trust Dr. Musaka Fala to handle this situation when he himself is not up to handling the situation in his own workspace. He's not. That 25% of the workers at Jamali Medical Diagnostic Facility have the coronavirus? What does that tell you? It is extremely scary. It is extremely scary. I'm told Bishop Kong Kong, his wife, is a nurse. She's come down positive with the coronavirus. Tons of nurses and doctors across the hospitals and the clinics in the country. Have corona. They are either under testing and they are also deliberately, apparently deliberately under reporting. And this is scary, folks. And what do we do? <laughs> Nothing. On Friday, George, we are, I mean, Samuel Twice signed for $7 million additional money, 3.5 million in grant and two and, and 3.5 million in loan. They have money. How many ventilators do they have? We have one in the entire country. One ventilator. You've got 59 confirmed cases of corona. You've got one venti ventilator. What are you going to do? You're going to scrap it to uh, patient A and let them breathe for a while. And then after a 30 second breathing session, you're going to take it to patient B. And then you go on so on and so forth to patient C, D, E, F, G. Is that what you're going to do? One ventilator? One ventilator in the entire country? Have they told us what else they've brought? No. How many more ventilators have they, have they brought? We don't know. PPEs, none. These people are joking. I'm very sorry, folks. Some of y'all be like, bro, y'all be thinking it's, it's you as in America. When we get sick here, we have a chance of going to the hospital and getting treated. Yes, they, it's not it's not gold in the air. No, it's not. But in Liberia, <laughs> You have a 10% chance of dying. Here in America, we have a 2%. A 2% chance of dying. 2%. So your chance of dying is much greater than our chance of dying. Your chance of dying in Liberia of Corona is five times greater than ours. You have a five times greater chance of dying in Liberia than... Yeah, five times. You're, more, you're five times more likely to die of Corona in Liberia than I am to die of it in America if I caught it. Tell me something, folks. Well, this is what you get in a democracy when you vote the way you vote. This is what you get. 
What does Finder Bono know about? Does Finder know what a ventilator is? Now, Finder Bono is the one who's handling logistics. Does she know what a ventilator is? Has she even Googled it to find out what it is? Of course not. I'm pretty sure she hasn't done that. She's busy doing a purple hair or pink hair and wearing yellow pants with a lousy green blouse or something. That's what I'm sure she's immersed in. What does Mira Brown know about Ebola, I mean, corona response? She doesn't know anything about that. She doesn't know anything. You've, you've got Dr. Yata Wapo. And I'm sorry I keep mentioning her. I don't want it to appear that I'm promoting her, right? Eh? You've got Dr. Yata Wapo, who is a medical professional, the Maserata County Health uh, Coordinator or something. She's trained in contact tracing. You leave her and you hire or you designate a koji, a pipipa koji, to spearhead contact tracing. What the hell does that idiot know about contact tracing? Eh? What the hell? That Gucci clown. What the hell does he know about contact tracing? He can tell the difference between a fake Gucci, a knockoff Gucci, and a real Gucci. The idiot. Eh? This is what you, what you get. Then you have an idiot of a president who says a Jamaica resort is getting drunk and womanizing when the rest of the country is going to be getting sick. This is what you deal with when you vote for idiots. This is what you deal with. This is what you deal with. They, they, they just signed for seven million. One ventilator is about twenty thousand dollars. One ventilator is about twenty thousand dollars. A brand new one. They just signed for new money. The World Bank has already given them millions already specifically to fight the coronavirus. They've already they've, they, 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 they've already gotten money. How many PPEs do they have in the country? If you don't provide PPEs to nurses and doctors across the hospitals and clinics, they will get scared as they shoot. Some of them might not go to work and you cannot blame them. And more and more people will contract the virus who are health professionals whose job it is to, to care for us when we're sick. When we're sick. We're in trouble. We're in serious trouble. So let's just pray. Protect yourselves. Right now, what you need to do, practice social distancing. It is more important in Liberia than ever. Practice it. Stay away from people. Don't let anybody sneeze on you. If you don't have a face mask, try to, you know, cover one at home. You know, protect yourselves. That is all you can do. Because if you rely on this government to protect you, I'm sorry, you're going to die. Like I said, if you catch corona in Liberia, you are five times likely to die of it than I am to die of it in America. Because you have idiots running the show. Irredeemable idiots running the show. Thank you very much. God bless you. You need it. You need all our, all our blessing. 59 confirmed cases, which is way honor reported. Six deaths. Four persons rec rec recovered. 25% of Jamali staffers have it. A doctor, a Catholic, the HR boss, nurses at um, Red Redemption and EOWA. <laughs> the day they start reporting the real numbers, <laughs> it will not be easy. Thank you, folks. Bye-bye.